face in it like that. No, that like, oh, I can't even. Pepper. Yes, you can. No, it was like, oh, I can't. There, so tilt it down. It's as tilted as you could probably come a little closer. Now you're moving this guy. Is it gooder? Mm, tilt it up a little. There, that's good. Good or right? These be the, all right. Let's get on. Let's get on with this uh, here stuff. What do you say about all that? Enjoy that. Great sound. Thanks. Oh. Oh, we got lines up in here. What is all this stuff? Huh? All these lines. You have like extra things that are in the way. Oh. Um, are we live? Looks like it. We are live. Why yeah. am I so tan here? I shouldn't be this tan. Mm. Alright you guys, today I am going to test out a kit that I got from Eli Kim. Um, and it's a resin art gift pack. As you know, our go-to resin is Stone Coat Art Coat. That's our jam. It's our favorite ever and always. But because uh, we do the test so you don't have to, oftentimes we will try out other products, other resins, just so uh, you guys know what we think. And this is a pre-built kit that comes with one high build tester kit check. Two Resi Tint Max 50 gram pigments. Uh, they sent me white and black. I think, oh yeah, it's a monochrome kit. Oh, these people are doing monochrome, but I know. Uh, one Resi Metal 100 gram. Nope. That would be this. I think they sent me this once before. I haven't tried it yet. Two goes enough. Um, What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Mixing cups and spatulas. I did not get those in my kit. I did get one of their spatulas. Did not get the mixing cups. Mids, please lay down, Mids. Uh, did not get the nitrile gloves. I did get the. Okay. Sorry guys, if you're new, my little guy likes to cough as soon as we go live to get some attention. Um, I did get the cotton gift bag. It's rather plain, but I don't guess it needs to have anything in it or on it. Cujo. All this stuff will fit in there. Um, and I did get the instruction sheet. It's laminated, so that's awesome. You can use it multiple times. Okay, Mids, just lay down to your seat, okay? Such a good boy. You guys, he's sitting over there in his penthouse just yelling at me. And they sent me, um, a base tent. It's got a hair stuck to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it looks like it leaked or was going to leak, but it's dried. And I don't know that this comes in the kit. It's not on the thing. Um, so this has seven steps. It says prepare by balancing your surface on some cups. If it's using, if you're using a canvas, make sure it's level to avoid slumping. 
if you're using a canvas, you can avoid clumping, but. Um, then it says combine equal parts of hydrogel resin into the large measuring cup, which I don't have, but I had my own, so. Um, the one-to-one -one ratio by volume of hydrogel makes it simple and ensures the resin cures perfectly. If it's too gloopy to measure properly, simply pre-warm by placing in hot water to lower the viscosity. Um, mix three to four minutes. Split into other cups to mix your pigment. Add mix to the resin one drop at a time. You might want to turn your speakers up, your volume up. Um, then product can be dropped onto the surface to create a dome 3D shape or lines. The resin pour is more controllable if you drop using a plastic spoon. Um, I feel like if your instructions has like items on it, like a plastic spoon or a mixing cup, they should include that in the complete kit, but. What is this kit from? This is from Eli Chem. And step seven is step back and admire. Cover your resin piece with an upturned box to protect it from dust as it cures. The resin will be touch dry in six to seven hours and fully cured in 24 hours, which is kind of awesome. And it has a, um, a link down here for, I guess, a product video or um, photos of stuff other per people have used. Yeah. So, I would recommend you guys put a QR code down here to easily scan it because that's a lot to type in. But that's just a note to the, to the makers of this kit. So, let's get this party started. I am going to be using our own mixing cup. Won't be needing the bag, but thanks for sending it. You guys are awesome. Uh, Tanya is my contact in the States that sent me this this kit to review. Yeah, everything we need, I think. I don't know if the viscosity is gonna be thick or not, but we're gonna find out together. This is one of our cradle boards that we have on our website. It's um, got a ring in the back so you can easily hang it. It comes this color, but then I painted it white. Because this is such a thick resin, I don't, see the need in it being completely white because I don't think anything's going to be transparent. Um, I want to see, because on this instruction sheet, it also says at the bottom, you will need to pour on canvas, artboard, or plant pot. And that would kind of indicate that it's good on vertical surfaces, which would make sense because it's thicker. So I'm going to see how it works on our slanted geode shape. Right. It's my first time trying this. Super pumped. I haven't even cracked open these containers yet. I think this is some form of safety seal. Oh, so on this it says, is the thickest, most gloopy and controllable resin on the market. Create 3D height and texture. Um, no slumping, no sliding, no movement. It stays where you drop it. So we're going to test that for real, for real on here. Successive layers are possible after 20 minutes. That's bananas. I remember you said that for 40 minutes. Uh, this product is UV stabilized to prevent premature yellowing. It's a one-to-one -one mix. You can also measure it by weight, one by 0.9. Uh, so resin would be the one and 0.9 would be the hardener, but we're gonna do by volume. And it has safety information and where you can reach out to them. So I don't know if it matters resin or hardener in this, but let's open it and see. Tis goopy. Just gonna 
to scrape this lid. It's good that they have it in a wide mouth jar like this so that, um, because it's thicker. So if you were trying to squeeze it out of a bottle, it would take more work. Um, it does say resin and hardener on the caps in different colors. And it has an R and an H in different colors on here so you can remember which lid goes where, which is awesome. Um, I, this is a, an actual sample kit, so the amount of product in it, I would imagine, is what would come in your kits if you got this. And it's interesting to me that the resin is the 1 to the 0.9 hardener, and it appears that there's more hardener than the resin. Is it a 1 to 1? Well, it's 1 to 0.9 if you mix by weight, but it is a 1 to 1 by volume. But it appears I have more of the hardener. Okay, I don't know how much I'm going to need, but since we're building it higher, I'd imagine I would need more than if it were just going to lay flat. So on this 18 inch probably geode, I would typically use 6 ounces of resin. So let's mix 8 and hope we're good with that. So we're going to do 4 and 4. We're going to do my goodness, I hope I get four ounces. This may wipe me out. So what? Are you doing four ounces or are you doing four up? Because that's a different. I just grabbed the wrong cap. Right after, I just made a stink about how cool it is that they labeled them. So I'm going to scrape off the resin that I just put on there before I accidentally do it twice in a row. What was the question, Dan? Sorry. All right. So we've got four ounces. So is that stuff meant for dotting or actually? It's meant you can do the dot deal, geodes, or you can, it had a pot on the back. So if you want to pour on something vertical, it's supposed to stay where you put it. Mm. We'll see. So it is thicker. So um, my heavy handed self poured just over four ounces. So I'm going to have to. <laughs> match it. With the part A that's considerably thicker. Um, just like with regular resin, the part B or the hardener is thinner than the part A. So consider that when you're combining them to do the B first. And it's going to mound in the middle when you add the second part. And it's got to, you have to give it time to like settle into the part A to get an actual accurate reading on the measurements. I don't know how touchy the this product is to if it were off at, at any point. So we're just going to be as precise as possible. Just going to try to push that into the part A so we can get more accurate of a reading. This is pretty much wiped out this kit that they sent me. Moist slime. Ew. Why you gotta throw the M word at me, you guys? Vamp said it first. She, of course, did. I was going to say I know that was a good thing for Jen. I don't think this is going to do it. Let's 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, I'm gonna use their star stick. It's like um, a cake batter right now. It's just, that's slime. the consistency. Or slime, slime's good. Looks like a liquidy silicone. Don't ever smell your resin like I'm doing. I'm doing this for research purposes. I, I don't really smell anything. So I wonder what adding heat to it will do. It's supposed to add heat. It doesn't say whether to or not to. And because it's so thick, I have to imagine that the bubbles aren't going to release very easily, particularly because it's uh, it sets so fast. Full cure in 24 hours, that's bananas. Y'all, if your arm hurts from mixing regular resin, higher. Say how long you're supposed to mix that? Yeah, it said three to four minutes. Am I at four minutes yet? I would just say stop at six o'clock. It's five fifty-eight right now. Okay. And what's the pot life? Doesn't say. <laughs> These are both things that I would. A lot of times when we do product reviews, um, we make recommendations to the manufacturer. Anything we say critical is only to help improve products. And we only ever give honest reviews. So if we ever don't like something, we want you guys to know about it. We're not saying don't try it. We're just Thank saying. Thank you, Booger Shane. Thanks, Bug. Thank you, Bug. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, we're never going to tell people not to try a product that we review if we don't really care for it. Um, but we will tell you what we do and don't like about it. We only do honest product reviews. And we tell that to companies when they're going to send us things to review. And so, so far, definitely would recommend including. We appreciate that donation. Thank you so much. Hot life. And if you should add heat or no. And imagine you don't want to add too much heat because in regular resin, that's going to thin it out. And then the thinner it is, the less high you can build it, I assume. I don't know. I haven't tried this before. We're going to find out together. Um, but yeah. We want you guys to know what we think honestly and we want the company to know what we think so they can make improvements because we want everybody to succeed in the resin biz. So we only give constructive criticism. Y'all, my forearm is killing. I think that's good. I just, I want to be sure because it is so much thicker. But just like with regular resin, I'm making sure to scrape the bottom and the side of my cup and the stir stick as I go. I believe Eli Kim makes this stuff. It, they do. And depending on how awesome it is, how many bananas we give it, uh, we may carry it. Because we want to have a good array of things for y'all. You want to be a one-stop shop, you know? Uh, they are out of the UK and they do regular resin as well. The Mastercast and Ultracast are awesome. 
Um, it's not necessarily white. It's like a transparent. It looks like mm -hmm. melted silicone. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if um, I can use pigments that aren't theirs. I'm curious to know if I can use a powder. I'm curious if it will go clear once it sets or if it always stays milky. So we're going to try all of those things. All right. How do you like the stir stick? It's fun. I like that on the handle it says create a stir. I thought that was clever. All right, we are doing a geode. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the center with not that much. It's not necessary. for no reason. All right, I think that's good. Uh, we sell this fire glass on our website. Let's start mixing colors. I'm going to try their Resi Tint in titanium white. It says on it a polymer pigment paste. Ugh. Does have a smell to it. Doesn't quite smell like gasoline. <clears throat> it has the consistency of I'm not sure. It reminds me of something. It was either angel white or the white from Artisu. Uh, don't get it on our skin. Don't drink it. Doesn't it says makes up to ten parts per hundred in resin, and uh, I'm not prepared to math. So we're gonna. We're going to eyeball it. We're just going to build the color. As we mix it. Also, I assume that since they sent me a whole kit that it is a complete kit. And that it's new. It didn't have a safety seal. So I don't know, but it is more than halfway empty. I don't know if that's by design. It doesn't say on here how much product should be in here, but it is over half empty. So let's do what I would usually do, which is two scoops. Now I'm going for an opaque white. Uh, and remember, you can always add more pigment. You can't take away, so just build slowly. I don't know if my regular pigments are polymer. I don't think so. Uh, so I don't know if that's special for this kind of high build resin. I don't know if it's a polyspheric or whatever. Um, that's pretty opaque. But then again, it was half opaque from just the resin, so sippy break. Tink. Sippy, sippy, tink, tink. All right, I used one of their colors. I'm going to use a paste. I grabbed pink sherbet from just resin. It looks like it's thickening up on me. If you run into this issue, just hit it with some heat from a heat gun and that will liquefy it. You can also give it a hot water bath. Will 
bit of heat and mix up it. And it's back to smooth. Oh, I guess I should add resin first. Probably will only do one ring of this color. We're gonna do half. I had hoped Oop. That was a bit much, so we're not going to put all that in there. That's what she said. Mm. I had hoped that I'd have enough resin to do more than one test. Maybe I'll have enough to do a small test, depending on how it settles. Um, but on this one, I'm just going to use all high build. And on my next test, I want to see what happens if I do rings of high build with in between those rings regular resin i want to know how that sets up very curious to know because i feel like since this is probably going to be on the expensive side of resins i don't know the price right now but that's just my gut because it's a unique product um and because it's a little bit thicker and I don't know how the quantities are going to dole out. Uh, why not save it and do alternating lines? That's in my head. I don't know. Now we're going to do um, abalone. Which is a powder from resin art. Hopefully it'll mix in beautifully. And you can still see the sparkle even though it's a thicker appearing resin. We'll see. I also wish it said on the packaging how high it'll level off to. I feel like that would be good to know, but whatever. I don't know if it's as sparkly as it usually is. Maybe it is. I'll have to look at it under a better light. And I'm going to do some... I think I'm going to do some halo. Mm -hmm. Never have too much halo, right? Right. I want to see how halo or any glitter really lays out in res this kind of resin. Typically it's very buoyant, so it stays floating and suspended in resin rather than sinking or floating up to the top. I didn't really overload it as I usually would because I want to get a good read on it. So far it looks like it's going to hold it really well. I just hope the cloudiness of the resin doesn't Mute Sharon, Sharon said, I believe you have to use use it quick. Use it quick once mixed and it should stay as high as you put it. I don't know. It's not getting warm yet, but I don't know if this is one of those resins that again, it would be good to have that on the label. Okay. Well, let's get going with this. I'm going to put a ring of the halo in the center area. I'm just putting it on that ledge. Some of it sticks out and some of it rolls down. I know gravity is going to do something. Ta-da! 
tell you what though, it definitely drips and stays. Like this dummy, like it sank maybe half an inch. Now, if you're using powder in anything, put your powder in first, then put the resin over it the, in your cup to mix it. Because then if not, you're just going to get a big old, it, it gets messy and it gets up in the air. So I would definitely put your powder in first, then pour the resin in and mix it. That's pretty much the, the cleanest way to do that. Yeah. Especially mica powders. Golds and coppers and stuff that otherwise it's just going to plume up in your face. Mm -hmm. I want it to sink down a bit. And then I'm going to add some more to this upper rim. I guess I'm, I'm confused at what that stuff's supposed to do. How thick it is. Color, so I'm going to put probably the pink next. Hmm. It's supposed to stick to its own business. So, but I'm also curious on if it's going to self-level at all. I'm going to smooth this out just a bit because I just applied this resin as if it was regular. So this is not gonna, see how thick it is? So it says, Erica, you will be able to build into, wait, ah, it's so difficult for me to read that. You will be able to build into you, into of you build into a you resin. It should hold each layer as you add it. So if you alternate the colors, they should hold well. You say alternate the colors, are you talking about alternating between regular resin and high build? It doesn't have the art coat working time that I'm used to, so I probably need to get on with it. Evelyn, I would just get that one that I have that I did a review on. It's pretty small for my face, um, so it might work for somebody with a little bit smaller face. I can't remember what kind that was, but uh, the other ones that we have, I believe, are just the 3M. And those work fine. Like, look how thick that poured out. It's like marshmallow fluff. And since I'm using my finger to move it about, I don't know if that texture is going to stay in it or if that will kind of relax. Oh my god, this is just like not the bad marshmallow fluff from like adding too much acrylic paint. hope that relaxes. It looks like it might. I don't know if I have enough high build for this size board. I 
Oh yeah, I still have some clear left. But now I'm nervous about running out of time because it doesn't give me a working time. I feel like I'm fighting an invisible clock. What resin is E working with? It's called Eli Kim High Build Resin. Didn't it say I could stack it after 20 minutes? Oh, All right, cool, cool, cool. Now cool. the abalone. So um, Sharon Lindy is, uh, are you, I, I, apparently you're familiar with this stuff, you used it. That's crazy because all that's pouring down the side and it hasn't, it hasn't gone over hasn't, and off. Yeah. I mean, it says it stays where you put it. What did Sharon say? Um, I'm just wondering if that person is, um, if she's she's obviously familiar with it. She she uses it a lot. Question mark. That's what I'm asking. Oh. It's my local resin manufacturer. Awesome. Well, so far I'm loving it. We're gonna see how it works after you add heat to it. If you should add heat, also should I? Oh, yeah. Add heat should to she it? add heat to it? Should she add a flame or just a heat gun, or just let it be? Uh, she went to their class on it. Cool. Should I add heat? What's the working time? You can use light heat. And that is what I will do. It's definitely going to take a bit of a learning curve for application. However, I think this is going to be a great thing. Will it mix into other itself? Like Will that silver and pink and white mix together, like blend? It's not supposed to, but I'm going to hit some of the areas with some heat just to see if, like if I push it, will it do it? Yeah, will it like bloom into itself? A lot of times when we do this, we like to follow the manufacturer's instructions, um, evaluate that, and then kind of push push it a little bit just to see yeah, what happens there. if you break the rules some. Will it swipe work? That's a good question. We have to test that as well. Well, and you can make, uh, you can create effects with it when it mixes with other resin. And now they're gonna have to send me another kit to review because I only got eight ounces out of this one. Which I don't know if it that's common. I don't know what um, quantities 
they're going to sell this in. It hasn't changed yet, um, the workability of it. It stayed basically at what would equate in normal resin to you've got five more minutes. You know that point where you're like, uh oh, better get on with it. Basically, it says it to stack it like the dot arc. Nah. Mm. I don't have a problem with the dot arc, it's just not me. All right, I'm going to take what I have left in the clear and put it over my glass. Because as of right now, it would fall out if I let this set and then turn the piece over. So we need to put some on here to bond our glass to our board. And if I had thought about it, I should have put the resin in first because it is so thick. I hope it doesn't take any of the... Our life is 15 to 20 minutes. I feel like that's a really good thing to have made really clear on the packaging. But again, um, I'll, I'll give all the feedback to um, Tanya and Aaron. Let's put some heat on it. There are a lot of bubbles, so I assume you have to put some heat. And it is not smooth. Look at all those bubbles. Should I try a swipe? If you want. Let's just see what it does. We're here to do the test, um, right? I can't read that name. I can barely, I don't understand how I can read this stuff. I don't know because it's just black and white. Totally off topic. How can I get a high gloss gold finish on my resin coasters? Like real, like the real something virgin. Agent virgin? I try all varnishes with different gold mediums and just not the same. I don't know. I don't know what. I have to use good resin? I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> what gold are you? Oh, varnishes? I don't know. I don't understand it. To mix into the resin, or? I don't know. They just said high gloss gold finish on my resin coasters. A gate version. A gate. Why are y'all calling me right now? You know I'm live. So it's literally like pushing around marshmallow fluff. But I think I like that look better than the alternative. And it looks like it will sell.
feel like I could create some awesome waves with this. I need more stuff, Eli Kim. I need more stuff. So just judging off of how textured it's laying right now, it's not going to lay smooth unless you make it smooth before it sets up. Um, I am getting some cells in the swipe area, but I'm not sure if those are because of bubbles popping and then leaving that outline. Now I'm going to try pushing it. Calling because I want to come over. Who? Megan Holland. No, we're we're live right now. <laughs> we got stuff to do after this, so not today. So sorry. Look, it looks. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? Okay, let's start with the cells. See the cells? Why is this in my recommendation? Gaming quacks. I'm not sure. Stay and watch or click next. Can you see? See? It's fine, yeah. And then when you hit it with heat. Yeah. But, okay. I'm going to show you in this one it's going to leave that texture probably. See that wave? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not smooth. So, um, do that at your own risk. I'm going to swipe over all of it. Because I just added a lot of heat. There was a slight smell after adding that much heat, but it definitely wasn't like uh, like a quick coat. I'm gonna have to go slower than even what I would normally do because it is so much thicker. And actually because it's so much thicker you can probably put some pressure down and that'll smooth it out. Yeah. Oh, I went too fast and it skipped right there. This is more what I'm talking about, y'all. So I'm having to apply a little bit of extra pressure. You can probably even use like a, some kind of a, not a spatula, but a, what's that thing you use with Bondo? See, huh? Oh, it started over. It started over or? Yeah. Now it's just it's got some lag here. People still here. So it says it started over. So is that gonna make a whole new video? I don't know. I'll check it out after it posts. Last time it did that, it did not start a new video. Not cute over fire glass. I have to glitter glass it.
funny, you can see those little dips down when, when you swiped it. Those will probably stay there. It looks like I just put a whole bunch of hot glue over mine. And they said it looks like yummy orange, um, orange creamsicle. Sandy Sanders said this would be awesome for white waves. I think so. I think I'm going to explore this with ocean a little bit. Thank Should you for your info, Sharon. We appreciate it. Have a good night. Happy New Year to you. Should I add some this? Sure. Or do you think it's too loud? Mm -hmm. I don't want to add this and you'd be like, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Add it in the middle, maybe. Huh? Add it in the middle. Yeah. When do you guys think you will have the Just Resin resin back in stock? It's on order. I expect it in the next few days. They're really fast in shipping. I actually may have a small gallon in stock. If I do, I'll add it right after the live. First come, first serve. What about what about our UV stuff? Are we gonna carry no, that? It's on the same order. We're gonna we're gonna sell it. Yeah, the just resin UV. Yeah, that's rad. Which glitter is that? I love it. Arlene says that is the Halo Chunky from Just Resin. So I wonder how hard it is to sand those sides if they're that thick. I'd like imagine it's dripping over. I imagine it would be like sanding four pores on one board drips. I mean, it's pretty thick. Also, it makes me want to do a lip and do our drips with this. Mm. Yeah. Catherine the Paint says, how much resin do you generally use for a 12 inch square resin painting? Four ounces, four ounces. I would, I would, I would make a little more. I mean, you always make a little more just in case. Yeah. You want to add something or if your corners seem to be, God, look at that bling. That is crazy. The camera's having a hard time. Like, up. We need to have separate cameras on here. How's that doing? Can you just stop it? I don't know. I'm kind of assuming it's still going. I hope you can see it. Can you? We bought a new little underwater camera today. Sure. Sure. And then we did a time lapse, so yeah, what do you think? we're going to see how this looks. Uh, it was only $70, and it's underwater, and it's 4K HD. That's pretty amazing. Look at how thick those are. We could totally do a, a loop piece with it, a, a drip.
bigger SD card. Great, you guys. I overall am very not mad at this stuff. I see a lot of potential in it. I know that there's a lot of things Jeff and I do that isn't resin, like not solid resin, that I think we could really explore with this stuff. That would be just a little bit too hard to do with regular resin. Just did a time lapse. Was it like boop? It's not that fast. It's about three minutes, 41 seconds. That's perfect for me to add on our other channel, ATD yeah, Time Lapse. Yeah, you do a lot of talking and a lot of... So... I'm going to give this a good nine bananas. Nine bananas. I can't give it 10 till after I see how it sets up. I will say that the bubble release is going to leave a real funky texture that some people may not be cool with, so you may have to let it if you wanted to, but the fact that it like worries about your own self, like it sticks to itself is brilliant. I like it. I like it. I really like it. I, depending on how it sets up, uh, would be interested in carrying it. Um, so that it's not quite as expensive to get it for us here in the States. What do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts. I need to know. Wonder how it would do on a tumbler. So what do you guys think? Tell me. Looks great. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Thank you, beautiful Erica. Um, do you think a flood coat will smooth it out? I do. Because I went over and swiped it, it's relatively smooth on the top, minus my hesitation dips from the swipe and minus the pop marks from the bubbles. Um, aside from those, um, it looks great. I believe Tammy Anderson tested this resin out a bit ago. She did. Oh. She is why I this was brought to my attention. Okay, you guys, I have a question. Um, it's a it's a computer question, I guess you could say. Um, I want to get a little micro SD card for this camera. And I'm going to need a micro SD card adapter as well. What should I get? I want to get like a big, a good one with a lot of memory. So I'm guessing 512. I see a Samsung 512 Evo. 512 gigabyte. Is that what that means? What's her name? Yeah. It should just, I could just probably just, it'll just have a regular adapter that you can. I turned the flash on. All right, I'm gonna take this to the dust-free zone. Well, the 
I, I keep forgetting. Y'all, I'm so excited about the possibilities. This is the Ultra HD 4K action camera. Waterproof. So much room for possibility. Yeah, scan this 260 Ultra. It's an adapter. All right, I'll lift that up. Manual. So yeah, I know that there are like 10 of those kits in the States right now that I just unboxed and I think I'm going to drop ship them off of our website and then the local Eli Chem rep will ship them out. Um, don't know what the price will be offhand, but I can find out for you guys. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter on our website, uh, do that because that's who gets that information first. I knew I shouldn't have talked in that tone. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> he looked up there. <laughs> I need to find an adapter. What are we adapting? So that I can put that small into a big one to put that onto the computer. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. 250 gig. No. This says $25, and it's got 32,000 uh, reviews, and it's got almost five stars. That should be fun, huh? Should be fine. As soon as I pick them up, it's all, all over. No more coffee. Okay, baby. Well, at least these don't fall off. Why do you want to lean right on the edge? It blows my mind. He like leans right on the edge. Okay, mister. <laughs> That was a fun little short video, a little experimentation. What do you think about that stuff? Pretty cool? Definitely, definitely super cool. So many ideas. I got to answer the red phone before I start experimenting. But I got so many ideas. To work with that stuff. I don't know the price range yet, but I'll get in touch with Eli Kim tomorrow and let you guys know what it says. Baby Moose says hi to all y'all. So does Crazy Bowie. Uh, uh. What is he? <laughs> Bam says you do the test so that you make me have to buy stuff <laughs> yeah also that 
know. Now you know. My precious Mage. Good little boy. All right, you guys, let me know what you guys think. What would you do with high build? Would you guys be interested if uh, we carried it so you don't have to buy all the way from the UK and have to pay import fees and taxes and wait weeks to get it? Let me know. Whatever you guys want, will facilitate. Uh, don't forget to follow us on all of these things right here. Doink, doink, doink. And yeah. We will be back to tomorrow, but it will be earlier. Hey, hey, hey. Don't get worked up. I know. I know. Okay. All right, you guys have been awesome. Um, not sure what we have planned for tomorrow. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve, which I keep forgetting about. That's, I, I literally keep forgetting that in one day it's going to be 2021. Let's hope 2021 is a little better for everybody. What do you, what do you say with that? <laughs> Right in my ear. Oh. We're going. We're going. Um, we will be going live tomorrow early because I have a party in my PJs tomorrow night in my living room. Yeah, we we don't even we have no plans. <laughs> So, with that said, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. Um, I guess we'll let you know on ATD's Poor People if uh, what time we go live. Um, remember, we have a class in Florida, January 16th and 17th in Bradenton Beach. Just go to artisttilldeath.com to reserve your seat. Um, and that's about it. I think we got some new geodes on the website. We do. Two new, two new geode shapes. Um, if you want to go check those out. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. You guys have been awesome. Um, that's it. Yeah. And remember, see, we need that, this, and remember, that's like I've said something. I'm just starting in the Maybe middle of a... Maybe don't forget. Oh, yeah, and don't forget. We do the test. So you don't have to. That's it's just, your favorite part. That's you love not. It. I can see that you love it. But it's not. But it's you the need best a, You thing. need to come up with a different way to say it. You that. need to come up with a better way to she say does. it. You, you know you like it. Anyways. No.